Hello guys, Smart Paul here and welcome back to another video. If you've ever messed around with C++ in Unreal Engine, or if you're trying to get into C++ with Unreal Engine, it is likely that you've stumbled across many different issues when using Visual Studio. Whether that be Visual Studio taking ages to search through your code, or saying that you have an error when you actually don't. In this video, we're going to be checking out Visual Assist, which is an extension for Visual Studio that will speed up, enhance, and improve your C++ development in Unreal Engine 5. So this is five reasons why I use Visual Assist for Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the very first thing that I want to show you guys is actually how to download and install the Visual Assist extension. Now there's a free 30-day trial that you can sign up for on their website, and you can click the link in the description below, and it will take you to this page. You just click try here for free and you can click the download free trial. It'll ask you to fill out some basic information. Let's go ahead and fill that out. And once that's done, it will go ahead and download the installer file. And then once you open up the installer file, it will ask you what IDE you want to install Visual Assist extension. And we're gonna be installing it to Visual Studio 2022. So just click install. And now once that is complete, you can go ahead and open up your Unreal Engine project. And if you go into the edit, editor preferences, you can search for code at the top. And then down here under your source code editor, make sure that is set to Visual Studio 2022. Then you can go ahead and launch Visual Studio. So the very first time that you open up your project with Visual Assist installed, it will start parsing your files. Just a one-time thing for each project, just so it can get everything in its directory and it will load a lot faster. So it'll parse through all of the Unreal Engine files. Uh, now you can go ahead and click extensions. So as you can see, Visual Assist is installed under the extensions. When you hover over that, it will drop down an options menu. And at the very bottom, you can just click on Visual Assist options like so. And then you'll go ahead and click try. So this will start your 30 day trial. Or if you've purchased a license, you, you can register your product. And here at the bottom, you can see that it's parsing all of the files in my project. And so here are the visual assist options. So you can change and customize all of the coloring for things like the classes, variables, functions, all the classes that are specific to Unreal. You can customize the syntax coloring to your liking. And now at the moment, it's not currently loaded because we're waiting for visual assist to parse through everything and usually the process should take around five to 10 minutes. So now that it's finished parsing through all the files, you can change all the syntax coloring. There's many different colors that you can choose from. It's just if you have a preference or liking, you can hover over and click on it and we'll show you an example. Now for Unreal Engine, you want to go down to game development and all of these settings should automatically be checked and you wanna keep this setting as reference so that'll only index your files once. And that's pretty much all you have to really worry about um, to get started using the Visual Assist extension. Now, the first reason why Visual Assist can speed up your game development is the fast autocomplete and IntelliSense. So the autocomplete for Visual Assist is much faster than the default autocomplete for Visual Studio or Visual Studio without the Visual Assist plugin. And Visual Assist also works with Unreal Engine, whereas the Visual Studio by itself doesn't usually get the autocorrect right all the time. So for example, if I wanted to type U property and it would automatically have it right here, we have edit anywhere and the autocomplete is much faster compared to the Visual Studio autocomplete where sometimes it'd just be sitting there searching for, for a second or two. The second reason for using Visual Assist is the different finding methods. So for example, I'm looking here through my project and maybe you have a much larger class. It'd be a lot more difficult to find the different functions that you have. So instead of using control F4, which would find everything, we can use the shortcut alt M and it will get all the functions here. And since we changed the function color, we can instantly see 
all the functions here and all the methods. And we can also do the same search in the C++ file, which will be way more difficult if you do search through your project with all these functions expanded. You just click Alt M, click on the functions and yeah, it's really helpful and it makes it a lot quicker. So the third reason to use Visual Syst is that you can find declarations and definitions very quickly. But you can go to a function. Let's go ahead and go to this spawn default weapon function and I'll click Alt G and Alt G will take us there instantly. And it's definitely more helpful, especially if you're using a function from the Unreal Engine source code. So for example, the event be in play, we can go ahead and click Alt G and it'll show us which one we want to pick. If we want to use the begin play and this is the character.h from the Unreal Engine source code. So you can find things very easily here using this shortcut. The fourth reason is opening and finding files very quickly. So you can click Shift Alt O and that will pull up the Visual Assist search window and it'll also pull up all the project files for Unreal Engine 5. So if we were looking for example character.h we can find it separated by the different projects from my project versus the Unreal Engine source code. So it can make it really easy to look through the documentation of the Unreal Engine 5 source code. And we can use the other shortcut which was Alt M to look through all the functions or you can type out the function as well to filter it out so you can see the function on landed or can crouch. So you can very easily filter through the Unreal Engine source code and find out what you need. Now the last reason is the create implementation feature. So let's just go ahead and make a couple of functions here. You can make it public. You can just call this ran function, u function, server reliable, server random function. So we can right click on the class and click on actions and refactoring, visual assist. And over on the right, we can click create implementation and it will pop up this little window, basically showing us that it will create all the functions for us. So all we have to do is click OK and it goes ahead and creates it in the implementation file. And another thing that you can also do is you can click Alt Shift Q and that will pop up and that will give you that create implementation option, which is a lot faster. Now, if you want to do individual functions, you can do Shift Q and you go ahead and create the implementation like that. Now the nice thing about Visual Syst creating the implementation for server RPCs, uh, if you're working with multiplayer, is that server RPCs require the underscore implementation after the function name, which Visual Syst automatically creates for you. Whereas if we were to use a Visual Studio create definition on Visual Studio here, you could see it would not create the correct implementation for us. Whereas if you were to use the Visual Visual Syst create implementation. So anyways, that is five reasons why Visual Syst can speed up your C++ development with Unreal Engine 5. If you guys want to download and install Visual Syst and try it out free for 30 days, you can click the link in the description below. Big thank you to Whole Tomato for sponsoring this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.